but this is, we're really being silly. This is what happens when it gets cold and you get a little bit of stir crazy from being inside. Yes, this is not a spring chicken. Come and join us for our fire here in Southern California. Is that a, oh, oh, anyway, I guess we've got to get back to news. Because news still continues. Yes, and did you celebrate Pearl Harbor Day? Or honor a veteran? Well, news still continues, and we're going to bring old Kemmel comments on the headlines of today. Right there, you see the fireplace told you. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you would think so. The President of the United States is basically, they said he's in, he's in a, a world of make-believe because he, he, he thinks that the Senate, the House Senate, that the House and Senate are going to collapse for him. No. They already lost one member of the Senate because of what they're preparing to do. <clears throat> the Republicans do not want to lose the ability to stop the Democrats in the Senate and they get... Uh, what happens is, that at the moment, five more Republican senators are preparing to hand in their resignations and go on to another job because if they said that their party is going to stop the principles that the party stands for to join the Democratic Party, they have no, they have no desire to remain in this party any longer. So they're preparing to jump ship on them. And three of them have Democratic governors, which means that the balance would turn to 60 in a superman, you know, with them. Um, it could end up with Pelosi and Reid running everything again because of uh, McConnell and Boehner. And feds to drop fiction books from schools to press their agenda. Oh yeah, they said they're going to talk about, they're going to stop. The, the classics are all going to be stopped. You'll no longer read Shakespeare, you'll no longer read The Three Musketeers. Okay, for, for okay, so Herbie Daddy said something very important. Alexander Dumont was a black man. Ooh. One of the most famous black writers in the history of the universe, and his, he's at the top of the list because it's trash as far as they're concerned. They're going to push the green agenda, they're going to push global warming, they're going to push, they're going to turn everything over until the civil rights movement. That'll be the, uh, nothing but non-fiction books to, to, to explain how evil that we have been, Republicans have been to Democrats and black Americans. And senators to screen Lincoln and seek a waiver for popcorn. Okay. What, what is this, a seek a waiver for popcorn? They're not allowed to bring food into the chambers because what would happen? <gasps> oh my God! When they used to do filibusters, they would bring food <laughs> into the chamber and eat while they were filibustering. So they passed a Senate rule, no food was allowed in there so they could force the people to stop the filibuster. But then what they did was they uh, basically, the senator, will the senator on the floor yield to the gentleman from South Carolina? And yield to the gentleman, then the filibuster can continue forever. And the Democrats are trying to stop that now with the, they're going, with a 51 vote majority is all they need to pass legislation. That's not what the Constitution says. The Constitution says they can filibuster. It says you need a 60 vote majority to pass anything, not 51. But this president doesn't give a rat's ass about the Constitution. And Assad, is Assad threatening to use chemical weapons or lose them? He's going to use them against the troops that are going to invade his country. Okay, here's the thing is, they said as soon as NATO decides to invade <coughs> Syria, the whole of the Middle East is going to explode because Al-Qaeda is now taking over in Libya. The uh, Muslim Brotherhood are now firmly entrenched in <laughs> Egypt. And, and the... Uh, it, and, the, pa the Palestinians are going to attack, the Lebanese are going to attack, the Iranians are going to attack, and they're all going to jump on top of, um, uh, on, on top of the Israelis, and it's going to be a god-awful bloodbath, and they said that one person in the whole world is responsible for all of it, and his name is Barack Hussein Obama. They all blame this on him. Mm. And Korean pop rides a game style into U.S. music scene. Oh, yeah, he is a... He apologized last night for being anti-American. Mm -hmm. He basically, he, he doesn't like America, and he's coming here to try to make money. Okay, they're, they're jumping all over the backside of, of Obama because he's going to a concert with this guy, what? and the guy is basically a total leftist. He, you know, total, he's a, he's a, I think he's a North Korean working in South Korea. And, uh, you know, Fat little slob that can't sing that basically condemns our country and says, well, I didn't really mean it. I was just upset. And Obama said, if I take his word, he really didn't mean it. He meant exactly the same thing because our president hates this country. But, you know, it's so aggravating that people 
they're condemning our country, and then they come over here to make money. Well, the same people. And it's like the, the Christmas. Yeah, they hate Christmas. I mean, you look at the people that basically, okay, uh, Best Buy, for instance, basically is making money off of Christmas, and they hate Christmas. Mm -hmm. You see all the stores. The Democratic National Committee is selling things for Christmas, and they hate Christmas. This president basically hates Christmas. He doesn't have Christmas. He doesn't, he doesn't believe in it. He doesn't believe in Thanksgiving. Well, these are white people's holidays. Well, no. Christmas happens to do with the person that had all kinds of minorities around him, folks. And Israel says it will stick with settlement plan despite condemnation. Well, yeah. It, it, it's just, it, it, okay. It's their country, folks. It's called, okay, uh, the Palestinians lost the war. When you lose a war, and it revert, and they, they, they said, well, here's a good one. They, one. The guy said last night, one of the Israelis said to the president, I have, I have some information with the president of the United States. We happen to have a document that's many thousands of years old that said Israel was founded by us, it belongs to us, and uh, and because of a cause of World War One, it was taken away from us for about 20 years, and then we took it back again. Mm -hmm. they, they give it to give, uh, they give the uh, Israel to the Palestinians and call it Palestine as a gift for participating in World War One against the Germans. And Israel says it will stick with settlement plan despite condemnation. You know, that's what they said. Oh, I know, but it's worthy of talking about. Yeah, well, could, <coughs> a great half of my family are Jewish. And India Navy ready to deploy to South China Sea as tensions climb. Yeah, because um, basically the Palestinians are going to fire a nuclear weapon. I mean, the, the, the people from uh, Pakistan are going to fire a nuclear weapon into, into India. It's almost a cinch because uh, thanks to our great president, he's now got a government in control of, of, um, of Pakistan that has nuclear weapons in its disposal and and the wep and the missiles to fire them anywhere they want to. They can hit Israel from there too. And Al Qaeda is a great big, you know, well, he, the, oh, and he said Al Qaeda is growing in strength again, folks, thanks to our president. Oh, <coughs> Japan candidates hit streets and first national vote since Fukushima. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, they, I, that, I, you know, they basically, they got a prime minister that basically they like all the other prime ministers that can't do anything because the country's broke. But all, because China, Japan is where they instigated the jobs for life <coughs> and the social programs that nobody could afford to pay for. They said, well, they said as long as they had a booming economy, well, no, it, it was dying when they had the booming economy. The Japanese economy is in a 10 year slump now. And they're laying people off. The jobs for life have went. The social services have went, and uh, they got huge problems. And they said that's. They said we're not going to become Greece. We're going to become Japan. Mm -hmm. That's what we're aiming for: is being a totally broke country. And Microsoft is back. Why the dorky Apple rival is suddenly cool? Uh, well, because, it, it is. No, and, and, and Microsoft is back <laughs> to um, to an extent. It's on Xbox and other things. If, and Microsoft. Is basically somewhat like Xbox, like Apple, in that the money that Apple makes comes from basically peripherals, not from the computers or software. Microsoft basic money comes from gaming and entertainment, but uh, they're they're basically Apple was solid under Steve Jobs, but he is not running the company now because he's not running the company. The company is just making one. Instead of fixing a problem with the iPhone, they turn the same iPhone back out. And then, knowing that they didn't like the one they turned out, they give you the same phone over again, except they, they give it not being able to use with anything that you'd ever had in the past. So, I mean, why do you think people are unhappy? Oh, and the mini, the mini, the mini, uh, the mini tablet, they really hate that one, folks, because it's expensive and doesn't function too well. Plus, nothing you have but a bigger tablet works with it either. What? Remember, Apple is all about selling peripherals. Oh, that mini iPad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are. House Republicans release counterproposal in fiscal cliff talks. Yeah, and the counterproposal is he gets uh, is, is dead on arrival, and they uh, they're criticizing the fact that they will not even take a vote on it. Boehner will not even bring the vote up because he knows the Republicans will vote it down. Oh, if they vote it down, he's in trouble. I know that. Monty, it's about that time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she, she's calculating when the best time is to come. And with that, a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. <laughs> okay. Sometimes things happen just exactly as you expect they're going to happen, but not exactly at the right time. I know. <laughs> she knows.